Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Agios, and today we're going to discuss how to monitor a Windows machine using SNMP. SNMP is a great way to monitor any legacy system. It is also a wonderful use for agentless monitoring. It is worth mentioning that Microsoft is going to slowly transition away from SNMP per their documentation. So for any newer systems, we recommend using OpenSSH for agentless monitoring or we also recommend using the Nagios cross-platform agent or NCPA. We will have links to using both of those tools to the videos in our description below. We'll be swapping between the Nagios XI instance as well as a Windows 7 VM since we've been using a legacy machine. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start monitoring this Windows 7 VM using SNMP. Right now we're looking at my Windows 7 virtual machine. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that SNMP is enabled. To do that, we can go down to the start button down here at the bottom and we can type in features. And we're gonna select the option where we can turn Windows features off or on. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this window a little bit bigger. There we go. And we are looking for the simple network management protocol or SNMP right here. We'll turn that on and we'll click OK. All right, now that we have SNMP enabled, we need to go ahead and double check it in our services. So again, down to the start menu and we will search for services, select services. And again, I'm gonna make this window, I'll make this one full screen. And we are looking for SNMP. So we can click into here and just type on our keyboard SN and we have SNMP service right here. We will double click this and we have our startup type as automatic, which is exactly what we want. Next thing we'll do is switch over to this security tab here. And in the accepted community names is where we're gonna add in information for Nagios XI. So we'll click add. We want this to be read only and we can set our community name to whatever we want it to be. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to call it Nagios Excuse me, I can't spell. Private. And we'll click Add, click Apply, and click OK. That's about all we need for the Windows configuration. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do is swap on over to our Nagios XI instance. All right, so now we're looking at our Nagios XI interface. To begin monitoring the Windows 7 machine using SNMP, we're going to come up to Configure at the top and then select configuration wizards. We can either use this window icon here or we can simply search Windows SNMP. I'm gonna click the icon and select Windows SNMP over here to the right. We'll put in the IP address of our host machine, of our target machine, excuse me. And select the operating system. Again, we were monitoring a Windows 7 machine. SNMP version will be 2C and we can't change the port because with SNMP version 2C, the default port is port 161. And right here is where we need to make sure that we have added in the same key, excuse me, the same community string that we had set in our um, SNMP settings on our target machine. And remember we did not use private. Once we click next, XI is gonna do the first SNMP walk and gather all the information that it can from our target machine. So we'll click next. This could take a little bit, by the way. Fortunately for us, it was rather quick. At the top here, we can change our host name to whatever we want it to be. So I'll call this one target windows seven. And now we can select what we wanna monitor. So we can monitor our CPU utilization, physical memory, such as RAM, any virtual memory, if it's VM, disk usage, and any type of Windows service that is running on the machine, same with processes. For this machine, we will go ahead and do a ICMP ping to see if we can see if the machine is up. For our critical and warning thresholds for CPU, we'll set 75 and 85. Again, these thresholds can be whatever you want them to be. Uh, for the sake of this example, we're not gonna monitor virtual memory usage nor disk usage. Actually, we'll monitor disk usage. And 8095 seems good. Everything seems good here. Windows services, let's throw in a 
Um, Adobe Acrobat update service. Why not? Once we're satisfied with what we want to monitor with this machine, we can click next at the bottom. And here's where we'll set our check intervals. Basically what this top number means is XI every five minutes is going to reach out to our target machine and collect the data we're looking for. Should the machine be offline, it will retry the target machine every minute up to five times before sending a notification. If this is a critical machine, I would recommend knocking this five right here down to a one. I would also recommend knocking this five down to a one as well. If this isn't a critical machine and it is subject to going off and on every once in a while, you could even bump this up even further so that you're not notified immediately once the device goes down. We can click next and this is where we can select who gets notified should a device go down. Now, as you can see here, this XI has a bunch of people in it. So let's go ahead and say that um, uh, the marketing team gets a notification of this one. Maybe it's one of their machines. At the top, we'll leave all these settings default. And then once we are satisfied with our notification settings, we can simply click finish here. And I'll go back to my dashboards and I'll scroll down and here is our target Windows 7 machine right here. As you can see, it is up and XI has successfully grabbed all the information we were looking for. We got a ping, that's okay. CPU utilization is within or is beneath our warning and critical thresholds. Same with our physical memory usage as well as our disk usage. And then as you can see here, the Adobe Acrobat update service is also running on the target machine. All right, and that wraps up our video on how to monitor a Windows machine using SNMP. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any further questions, please go ahead and visit support.nongeos.com for more great documentation. Also, be sure to stop by our YouTube channel for some more amazing videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.